had a piano in the house when I was very young, and I used to compose and experiment <laughs> from the age of three. And I just loved it. I loved playing the piano. And I started taking lessons when I was seven. And I remember my first performance was at the age of 10. We had um, a recital. All the students of my piano teacher did a performance. And I did a song that I composed. And I remember afterwards, the people had this dreamy look in their eyes. Like, it was more than, you, you know how, like if you do something well, and people say, oh, that's very nice, very good, you know, you, you did a good job, you know. But it was like more than that. It was, it was like they felt something really deep from the music. And so I always remember that because that was my first, the first time I noticed that power of music to touch people on a deep level like that. And I think that's the moment when I knew that's what I wanted to do with my life. I've always liked a lot of different kinds of music. When I was really young and I was just playing piano, I was composing in a kind of a late romantic style. And sort of some of the sort of early 20th century things were an influence on me, like Prokofiev was an influence. I, I always, I liked rock, but I didn't really want to play rock on piano. Then I got guitar when I was 11, and I started playing rock and blues on the guitar. And when I was 12, um, I started playing jazz, another style that I always liked, but I didn't try to play it until I was 12. And the thing I liked about jazz is it combined my favorite elements from the classical side and from the rock and blues side. It's like, uh, like an integration of, of everything. So that's why it's my favorite music. Magic Touch was my first album that I did on a major label. And that was a big deal for me. You know, a lot of people first heard me from that album. And actually that was 30 years ago. This month, 30 years ago, that album was released. And um, another album that I feel was really important was Cornucopia. Because at that point, I had evolved to the point where um, I was able to do things the way I wanted to. And I had a relationship with my record label where I was able to produce my own music and do it in, in the way that worked for me. So that was a really important one. There's so many projects I've done that I, I really enjoyed doing. Like, like one, not my record, but, but I did a song on a Kenny Rogers record in 1986. Um, the song is called Morning Desire. And it was uh, George Martin producing. And it was a great session, it was a great tune. I really enjoyed working with Kenny Rogers. And one thing that was cool about that is um, they, they really wanted my sound. They really wanted me to just be myself and play what came naturally to me. So I think my guitar on that stands up to any of the, any of the stuff on my records.
when I'm using the touch technique, I just feel so free, you know. Um, it's, my imagination can run free and I can play, you know, most of what I'm hearing, not everything, but most of it. It's influenced by the piano. So the coordination between the two hands basically comes from piano. But I also have the expressive possibilities of the guitar, like sliding, bending strings and stuff like that. So it's almost, to me, it's almost like a new instrument because it has new, new possibilities. And the, the, the tone of the instrument sounds very light and very kind of sensitive and very vulnerable. And there's a lot of feeling in that, in the, that comes through in, in the sound. I'm working on a composition, a concerto for guitar and orchestra. And I remember when I was, I think 10, the first time I heard the symphony orchestra live and it was an amazing experience. And I would like to capture that big sound, but have my guitar in the middle of it too, you know. Uh, another thing is I'm doing a lot of electronic things, electronic music. And maybe this year, maybe next year, I'm gonna start to release some new electronic stuff. Well, personally? Yeah. Um, well, right now, personally, one of the things that's most important to me is bringing healing through the music. So, you know, everything I do is connected to the music, but I'd like to take that to another level. And I'm working on a, a master's degree in music therapy, and I really want to finish my degree and do more with that out in the world, because I think music is so powerful and it's, it's, it, it, it heals on so many levels, mentally, physically, spiritually, and, and emotionally. It's, it's, it's really amazing. Oh, I, I love to play at Clamoris, you know. This is maybe, I don't know, like my 10th time or something, you know. And I loved it from the first time because I feel really close to the people. And I feel all the music that's been played in here. You know, you look around and you see all the posters. There's so much history in this room and the history is living in the walls. So I draw from the spirit of all the music that's been played here and it's really inspiring to me.
Hi, this is Stanley Jordan, and you're watching Clarmortis TV, and I'll see you in the club.